Today I have the distinct pleasure of speaking with Tracy Costa from Peekaboo Beans. How are you today? I'm fantastic. How are you? We want all of our Investor Intel audience to be watching this interview because, I mean, we're seeing real results here. You had record results, Q4, up 229%. Did I read that correct? Uh, it was actually Q, yes, Q1 uh, over Q4 was up uh, 229%. So obviously quite pleased with those results, but that's also... Uh, a lot of work coming together. So it's all happening now. And if I recall too, uh, this is year over. You've had over, what was it, 21% for the same quarter of the year before for sales. Is that correct? That is correct. Yeah. We're seeing a nice uptick right now. And we've kind of paved the way for this. So we're, we're pleased, as I mentioned, to see these results happening. Uh, but it's it, all of the efforts are coming to fruition. And of course, Peekaboo Beans is your vision. I've worked with uh, probably close to 2,000 publicly listed companies, Tracy, over the years, and you are the only, uh, frankly, female CEO who has taken your own vision, turned it into a public company that I've had the pleasure of working with. So could you just give us kind of an update of where you are right now with your vision and how Peekaboo Beans is doing presently? Thank you. Thank you for that. It's very nice. Uh, so very excited about where we're at right now. You know, great brands are take, take time to build. They don't happen overnight. And that's what what my mission with Peekaboo Beans has always been about was creating a long term, high quality, valuable brand for children. And so we've gone through a lot of change uh, and that's because of the retail environment. And now we're at the place where we know this is our home and we are happy in this environment, the distribution model we have now. So the elements that we, we have are a fantastic brand, powerful mission, incredible product, 38% uh, returning customer rate, our numbers are off the charts right now as far as our growth in website uh, visitors, website traffic, growth in the U.S. We're up 5% over last year. Um, and so all of our metrics are really pointing in the right direction. Now, as far as what initiatives we have coming up, we have some pretty incredible ones. We're, we're finally uh, excited to launch our subscription box which is a transmedia augmented reality um, subscription box that is a storybook adventure. Uh, and that's, we're thrilled to be launching that next month. It's been a work for a work in progress with a company out of Montreal for a year now. And uh, that's live and ready to launch. I actually have the box in front of me. So we're thrilled about that. So I understand you have some, some big news happening here today. Can you tell us a little bit more about this? We're thrilled today to launch our vintage buyback program. Uh, so it's a soft launch. We launched a vintage boutique uh, within our Peekaboo Beans bricks and mortar store, and we'll be taking that online within the next few months. But what we're doing is we're creating a stand for sustainability of our product um, so that it doesn't end up in a landfill. Okay, that's very exciting. So all of you young millennial environmentalist day traders that we have out there with your new accounts, um, can you tell us a little bit more about what this is that may be new to the Peekaboo Beans uh, story, Tracy? Yeah, so the the number two pollutant to the landfill, to the earth, is textile waste next to, uh, to oil. So we are taking a stand uh, similar to brands like Patagonia, who have worn wear sites, um, and we're going to be... Uh, buying back product through product credit or points uh, or consignment and then taking that product and reselling it and we're keeping it out of the landfill and that's because we create a higher quality product that is designed to last to last through grow spurts to last through uh, multiple washes uh, we're the only brand the children's brand that is doing this it's very very relevant and of course, I would be remiss not to bring up the fact that with Meghan Markle as your new neighbor, Tracy, how long till we uh, see her kids in your clothing and then your stock's got to what? Go through the roof? <laughs> well, I have to say we are fortunate to be asked to already gift her product. So uh, one of her best friends had reached out to us and asked us to send a package to uh, Meghan and Prince Harry. So uh that would be really exciting for us to actually see that captured uh, in real life.
So what should we as shareholders anticipate in this upcoming quarter? I know I asked you about news flow last year and you said, basically, leave me alone. I'm busy building this business. So what should we expect? That we, I mean, the first quarter results have been great. The second quarter results are trending in the exact same direction, high and, and growth. We're excited about that. Uh, we have two big initiatives launching. We have our Get Dressed for Adventure subscription box launching. It The early um, results of, and people's feedback on this project is revolutionary. So once you see it launch, uh, the, the sky's the limit with that. And then our vintage program is just such a big sustainability piece. Uh, so we're going to be getting a lot of PR, a lot of press on that. Um, we're in a really, really good position. So uh, I, I'm, I'm thrilled. Well, thank you so much for joining us today, Tracy, and allow me to be one of the first of many to congratulate you on your recent successes. Thank you so much, Tracy.